Hello everyone. So you may remember a few days ago that Ukraine hit Russia's 29B6 container radar with drones, with a follow-up attack a couple of days later. Well, we now have satellite imagery confirming the follow-up attack. So on screen now as with before, this is from the 14th, and here, the after, on the 19th. You can see a 200 meter long patch of scorched earth alongside the western part of the antenna. The first strike was said to have hit the control point, the second one, the radar itself. Now it's very interesting that this happened shortly before the big attack and strike on Zhankoi, and I don't think that's a coincidence. I covered this in my original video after the first strike, but the container radar system consists of two separate radar arrays, one for transmitting, one for receiving, consistent of a row of antenna masts like this. It was the receiving antenna which was hit here. The radar system works like this, so a signal transmitted from the transmitting antenna reaches a target beyond the horizon by reflecting off the ionosphere, and the echo system then returns to the receiving antenna by the same route. So, knock out either the transmitter or the receiver, and this radar system doesn't work. This image here shows some of the coverage of container, taken from a Russian video about it, showing a section of the flights detected here by the container radar system. You can see that it is covering Crimea and the Black Sea. So, I think this was hit first to blind Russia. Then, a TACOMS was launched to further guarantee a successful strike on Zhankoi. That strike, remember, taken out at S-400 battery. So, this seems to me a prelude for something. Take out the main radar, take out the SAM system, and then stage three. Who knows? Could be taken out a certain bridge, could be another storm shadow strike. But I strongly suspect we may seem to see an attack on the Crimean bridge, but we will have to wait and see. Here's the location of a container radar on Google Maps. Remember, Ukraine hit this important site not once, but twice. You would have expected after the first strike that Russia would have added some air defence to it, but clearly not. Or they may have added some air defence to it and the air defence just failed at its job, as per usual. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Now before we finish, a quick mention about the ongoing fundraiser for Sanef to buy two vehicles for Ukraine's armed forces, the information of which is on screen now. Big thanks to everyone who's helped out and the donation links are in the description. Thanks very much and take care everyone.